Welcome everyone. In today's video, we are going to demonstrate the fundamental laws of electrical engineering, that is Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law. Or in other words, you can say the law of conservation of energy, Kirchhoff's voltage law, or law of conservation of charge, you can say Kirchhoff's current law. First of all, we should be knowing what kind of circuit we are going to design. You can draw any circuit, that is up to you what you want. I have drawn a circuit, uh, this is an example, so you can see a circuit here. We are going to first see the Kirchhoff's current law. You can see the DC source. This is a symbolic representation. As practically you can see we have a DC source here. The red is designated as positive and black is designated as negative. This is a variable supply. We can vary it from 0 to 30 volts. Then we have an ammeter. The range depends on what kind of current you have to measure. Our current is in milliampere, so I have kept the milliampere range. You can measure AC as well as DC. We are going to perform here DC. Then we have the resistances. You can use any kind of resistor. I have carbon resistors here. This is called the carbon resistor. You can measure the resistance by using the multimeter or by color coding. I have three resistors here. You can see one, two, and three. These are the meters, the emitter, emitter, and emitter. As you know, the emitter is connected in series. So first of all, what we are going to do, we are going to design this circuit on this breadboard. So exactly this circuit we will design on this breadboard. First, we should be knowing how breadboard works. As you can see, there are the dots in this breadboard. So they have uh, shorted some lines and kept some lines open. So you don't need to remember this. You just have to bring the multimeter. As you can see, I have the multimeter here. So I will put the multimeter knob. You can see the multimeter knob on the continuity. Then I have two leads, black and the red. You can see I have the black and the red. So if I will short these two lines, so it will give the beep sound. You can hear. Similarly, I will check which line is shorted in this and which line is not shorted. So first I will see if I will connect this here, whether horizontally it is shorted or not. I will connect it here on this line. The multimeter isn't giving any beep sound. So that means this line horizontally is not shorted. I will connect now vertically. You can see, look, the beep sound is coming. Multimeter is giving the beep sound. So in short, what you have to do, you have, if you don't remember whether vertically is shorted or horizontally, you just have to connect this multimeter and see the continuity. Now we will start to draw this circuit. Now you have to keep your eyes on the circuit diagram and draw this on the breadboard. Look, the positive, you can see the positive of the voltage supply that is here. I will put it somewhere here. So I have put positive here. You can see on the circuit diagram, I have connected the positive one here. Then there is a line that is between the ammeter and this voltage source. So I will connect the line between this positive and the ammeter. Ammeter line that is positive. You can see here, I will connect it here. Look, this is already shorted. You can again check it by the multimeter whether this line is shorted or not. Now I will connect this uh, resistor. You can see a uh, resistor somewhere. I will connect it here. So I have connected a resistor here. Negative of the emitter is connected with the, with the resistor. So I will take the negative that is here and I will connect it with the resistor one end of the resistor. So this point and this point is the same. One end of the resistor that is here is connected to the emitter positive, both emitters which are connected here, here and here. This line is the same line, so all three are shorted. So I will connect the positive of these emitters that is here, positive is connected with this. Now another point that will go to the resistor that is here. So I will connect it here. So this much of circuit is over. Now we have two resistances here, R2 and R3, they are connected parallel. So first of all, I will connect two resistances somewhere. As you can see, this line is shorted. So I will, as you can see, this R2 and R3 are shorted here. These R2 and R3 are the same node that is here. So I have connected it, R2 and R3 somewhere here. Then I will connect the upper end of the resistor somewhere here. So you can see these uh, two terminals are not shorted. These are shorted. You can see the circuit. I will check by the multimeter whether this is shorted or not. This point you can, is here. So this will give the beep sound. You can see. 
this point shouldn't do because emitter is coming in this so this shouldn't give the beep sound so this is not giving the beep sound but they are at the different so now what i will do i will connect i will connect emitters negative that is here to the resistance one here and another here so emitters negative that is here will go to the resistance terminal that is here another likewise the negative will go to the resistance negative terminal you can see so you can see the circuit is completed here now the negative of the supply will go here that will come here so that will come here so the our circuit will come because this point this point and this point is shorted so you can put the negative somewhere here as you know this is horizontally shorted you can check by the multimeter whether this is shorted or not you can see so these three lines are sorted so our circuit is complete now what i will do i will switch on the supply and i will see uh, whether the current will flow in the emitters or not so let us switch on the supply now our circuit circuit is complete this is the circuit which i have drawn here practically so voltage source then the resistance in series uh, then the emitter which is connected with the first resistor r1 then we have the another emitter that is connected with the r2 that is here this is the resistance r2 then the resistance r3 that is here the emitter uh, which will measure the current i3 that is here i this will measure the total current i that is in the series then we have the current i1 and i2 that will measure here now what i will do i will switch on the supply you can see here i have switched the supply on so I, i can vary the voltage from 0 to 30 volts by this knob you can see here how the current will vary when i will uh, increase the voltage look this is current total current i this should be i1 plus i2 so this current i1 plus i2 should be equal to this total current i say for example i will uh, take total current 10 milliamps so you can see this is 8 plus 2 that is 8 plus 2 is 10 milliamps so you can see the total current is 10 so 10 milliampere this is total current i this is i1 plus i2 as you can see in the circuit the total current will uh, is here that is i then the current will get divided here parallelly i1 plus i2 so you can see the total current is 10 milliampere then we have i1 plus i2 that is 8 plus 2 that is 10 milliampere so this is how you can verify the kirchhoff's current law so we will see an interesting thing here if you can see these resistors are connected in parallelly i will connect a line in between these two so as you know the current always tries to flow the least resistance path as you can see when the current will reach reach here it will try to divide but because of the least resistance path the entire current will flow through here so the current through this emitter and through this emitter should be zero so only the current should be through here this emitter practically we will see how we will do this so i will connect one connection here and one connection here on the breadboard so you can see i will connect it here then the another connection i will connect here so i will connect it here so look so uh, as you you know the total current is 10 ampere so that is divided now i will connect this line the short so uh, when i will connect this you can see this current and this current will turn zero only this current will remain look so only this current will remain now these two current shall turn into zero so you can verify this as well how the current will look like thanks very much